face of man who repeatedly raped unconscious NHS victim on park bench until she died A man has been convicted of the rape and manslaughter of a vulnerable NHS worker who was attacked while she was unconscious on a park bench. Mohamed Ido repeatedly sexually assaulted Natalie Schotter while she was passed out in Southall Park, West London, after a night out. Following an Old Bailey trial, Ido, 35, was found guilty of rape and manslaughter on Friday. His victim's mother, NHS cardiology practitioner Dr. Cass Schotter Wheatman, said after the verdict, We're delighted for her children and that we finally. Finally, after three and a half years, have got justice for Nat. She added her daughter was a beautiful soul. Jurors who had to listen to the harrowing evidence were not told of Ido's previous conviction for sexual activity by seeking to groom young people online. In legal argument ahead of the trial, Prosecutor Allison Morgan Casey also outlined historic communications with others. The court was told these involved engaging others for sexual services. It was also suggested he discussed about his pleasures at the concept of rape. The court had earlier been told how the 37-year-old mom died of a heart attack caused by Ida raping her again and again. CCTV footage was shown of Ms. Schotter earlier in the night sitting on a bench with a different man. The defendant could be seen as he walked past and looked at them. Ms. Morgan said, what was the defendant doing there, what was he seeking to do? walking up and down the paths in the middle of the night and thinking about what his objectives must have been, seeking out a vulnerable woman to rape. Ido had then driven off in his car but later returned. Ms. Schotter was lying down, showing no clear movement for about half an hour before the defendant approached her nonchalantly, Ms. Morgan said. Jurors heard. She said the victim had been deeply unconscious during the attack. Further CCTV showed Ido moving Ms. Schotter's body around in different positions as he raped her. Ido then drove to his West London hoe, via a shell garage where he stopped to buy cat food and mouthwash. A passerby discovered Ms. Schotter's body in the park in the early morning of July 17, 2021. DNA samples from her mouth area matched those taken from the defendant. Ida was arrested at his home on August 4, 2021 but told police the sexual activity was consensual. Ms. Morgan also rejected any suggestion that Ms. Schotter was dead before she was assaulted by Ido saying, the prosecution's case is that Natalie died as a result of what was done to her by this defendant. She was not dead at the time when the defendant was orally raping her, it will be a matter for you to consider that this defendant went to the park for a reason. He would not have sought to have sex with a dead body for over 15 minutes. He was having sex with someone he knew was alive but was deeply unconscious and therefore he was raping her. Ido had denied the charges against him but declined to give evidence. He was found guilty by the jury and remanded into custody to be sentenced on December 13. Ms. Schotter's mother who has worked for the NHS for 45 years, added, We're celebrating, obviously we're jubilant, absolutely jubilant about the outcome. She was a beautiful, beautiful girl, an NHS worker, worked for charities, mother of three, just the most amazing soul, and, kind. I can't tell you what it means to us. She had so much to give, so much more to give. Detective Chief Inspector Wayne Jolly, who led the Scotland Yard investigation, said, This man drove to the park that night and took advantage of a vulnerable woman who should have been safe. Even after his arrest, Ido attempted to claim that his actions were consensual. This case has deeply affected those involved, due to its rarity and tragic details. We needed to prove Natalie's death was caused by being raped and that involved diligent work using experts in this field to charge and now convict Ido. I commend the strength of Natalie's friends and family who have had to listen to these details throughout the trial. Ido is now facing a long term of imprisonment.
Kirsty O'Connor, of the Crown Prosecution Service, said, the victim had been on a night out enjoying herself and she was preyed upon by Mohamedito. He raped her repeatedly, while she was unconscious, which caused her death. The investigation was extremely complex and involved working closely with the police and expert witnesses to establish what had happened to the victim and what led to her death. During police interviews, he stated that the victim was alive and consenting to the sexual activity with him. However, CCTV footage has proved that to not be the case, with the victim unconscious during the entire attack. The CPS is determined to deliver justice for victims of rape. Tragically, this vile attack cost the victim her life and we'd like to express our deepest condolences to her children and loved ones at this time.